Hi everyone, I am back again with another video and in this video I'm going to talk you through uh, the interest rates and its impact on financial asset, equity, bonds, real estate and others. And this topic is quite relevant in the current context because last week ECB or European Central Bank has announced a rate hike of 50 basis point or half a percentage and uh, this hike is the first hike after 2011. On a side note, South African uh, bank also announced a rate hike of 75 basis point or 0.75%. But most importantly, the US Federal Bank or Central Bank of USA uh, earlier this month has signaled a rate hike of 75 basis point, 0.75%. And for the record, it is the most aggressive rate hike after 1994. So we are going to talk about why any government or monetary authority hikes or reduces interest rates and what is its impact on your financial portfolio. So let's try to understand this through an example. Let me open this link for you. Now pay close attention to this chart. So this chart illustrates the federal fund effective rate since 1991. Now, if you look over here, this is 2008, 2009. Uh, this is at a time when US hit the recession. And if you notice, the interest rate is close to zero, 0.08%, right? Now, what is the reason, what is the intention of a monetary authority to reduce the interest rate to zero. Now, first of all, you have to understand this macroeconomic concept of a penny spent is a penny earned. So if I'm going to market, if I'm spending my money, there's someone who is earning out of me. So what happens in the time of recession is that since people are losing jobs, there's an uncertainty of future, people are not intent to spend money. And if they're not spending money, the other person is not earning it and there's a some type of uh, hindrance in the economic activity or the flow of economic activity. So to motivate that, to motivate people to spend money, what monetary authority or government do is they decrease the interest rate. So let's say if I, I have a plan to buy a car and uh, I am planning to you know buy cars one year down the line, but there's a there's some very special uh, promotion going on uh, in terms of uh, either the car dealer is providing me the promotion offer or the bank is uh, giving me a, a discounted interest rate. So it will motivate me to spend money now rather than waiting for one year because I know I have some deal and, and since I need to buy the car anyway, I can buy right now. So that's how it manipulate my decision to whether to spend money now or one year down the line. So what banks do is banks when, when the interest rate is close to zero and, it, and the loan is easily available, you are more inclined to go to a bank, take loan, spend money on buying a house, buying a car or buying any other asset, uh, maybe putting your money into the stock market. So when the interest rate is low, you're more motivated to spend money to take loan from banks. And that's how when you spend money, the other person earn and then in turn, they also spend money to buy grocery, buy electronics, etc. So now why there's an interest rate hike right now. Now let's come back to year 2020. If you see it's again close to zero. Now why? Because we have just experienced pandemic and uh, pandemic was again a time when people were losing job. There was uncertainty about the future. You know there, there was a need to uh, again motivate people to spend money and that's how the again the US Federal Bank has decreased the rate to uh, you know around zero. Now the problem with uh, easy money or cheap money is that it can cause inflation. Now, what is the macroeconomic factor for the inflation? When the demand is more than supply, then the prices rises. So in this case, because you have cheap money, you have a lot of, uh, you know, you have a lot of purchasing power, you're spending it, there's a demand. And because of that higher demand, 
there is a problem or there's an issue of inflation you know just as a side note uk hits 40 year high inflation rate of 9.4% and on the other side us uh, inflation soared to 9.1% the highest since 1984 now because this inflation now is the issue the monetary authorities across the world are now obliged to increase the interest rate so now now let's try to understand how this increase or decrease in the inflation rate affects your portfolio or affects your financial assets so in terms of financial assets as we discussed earlier you have stocks you have bonds you have gold cryptocurrencies uh, real estate and forex as well so now first let's understand what happens to bond prices now pay attention the bond prices decreases when there is a increase in interest rate now why it happens so i'll just give you an example so say last year you bought a bond now this year the government or the monetary authority has announced a interest rate hike so from 4% last year the interest rate was 4% the increase the interest rate to 5% so 1% of hike now what happens to your bond is that the value of the bond will fall why because if you buy a bond right now this year the bond will give you a interest rate of 5% so if a bond is giving you a interest of 4% nobody wants to buy it people are more inclined to buy the bond which gives 5% interest rate rather than a bond which gives 4% interest rate so the value of a bond which is giving 4% will go down from the angle of demand and supply okay so this is with the bond prices now what happens to stock market so in terms of stock market so stock market may fall when there is a hike in interest rate now why so when i give you an example of why there is a need to decrease interest rate to boost economic activity now we took an example of the retailers like you and me what about the corporates so corporates also need money so corporate have two sources of fund the first is equity and second is the borrowing so from the perspective of corporates if you are getting money at a lower interest rate it means that you have less cost for corporate it directly impacts its profit and loss statement so in case when there is a hike in interest rate now it's a vice versa uh, scenario where i have to take loan where i have to pay more money in form of interest so if i have if there's a high cost then it will impact my profit so i'll just read up what, what is there on the slide so companies borrow money to run their business and when interest rate rise this means companies need to pay more interest more interest more cost less profit okay from other perspective when interest rate rise people become more careful in spending their money and prefer to pay their debt off instead so now less people spending money less revenue for the companies and corporates less profit fall in the stock price the third point is with higher interest rate the stock market become less attractive versus stuff like bonds for example instead of investing in a dividend stock to earn 5% they might opt for less risky bond that gives 4% so money leaving the stock market leads to lower stock prices and it is obvious why because in the case of bond we know that it's less risky so bond is just like fixed deposit where you uh you know where you get a fixed rate of return but whereas in the case of stock market even if the company is mature and it's paying regular dividend its dividend is dependent upon its profitability earning is volatile earning is not stable so again there is a risk a risk in the payment of dividend as opposed to uh, interest rate where we know interest rate is fixed so this is the third point and the fourth point is all other things equal the less profitable the business is the worse off its stock will perform now what happened with property prices unless you are very 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 wealthy 
you would have taken a loan to pay off your house so when interest rate rises it becomes more expensive to take a loan this means less people will able to buy a house and hence lower the demand so obviously uh, when i gave you an example like why would you are more inclined to spend now as against waiting for a year or so because you know that you uh, you're getting loan for cheaper rate when you take a home loan interest cost is a very significant portion of your overall uh, money that you are supposed to pay back to bank again our macroeconomic concept of demand and supply so higher the demand higher the prices lower the demand lower the prices so in the case of property since because of higher interest rate there is a lower demand uh, for the properties therefore the prices of property will fall down now this the, the 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 second perspective is when the supply of property seller outnumber the property buyers property prices will start to fall now question is why of let's take an example from us perspective the interest rate is zero and the loan is easily available you go to bank you take a loan and you invest in residential property but what would happen if the government in, increases the interest rate it increases your cost but uh, you don't have a fixed income stream like salary or maybe if you are earning salary but that salary is not enough to take care of your loan and interest rate so what would you do at that situation you will say okay i don't have money i don't need this residential property i'm going to go to market and sell the property and what will happen if there is a lot of people having the same mindset who have taken the loan at the time when the interest rate was very low and now they are supposed to pay the interest rate and pay back the loan and they don't have the money to do so what they do is what they will do is they will go and try to sell off the residential they will try to sell their property in the market and now in in this in, in this case what will happen is that a lot of people who want to sell the property but there are less there are few buyers so higher the supply lower the demand lower the prices so in this case as well the the prices of property will go down uh, now let's try to understand uh, uh, understand what will happen to will happen to crypto and nft so crypto might have been marketed as a digital gold or hedge uh, against inflation to investor however at a moment people are trading crypto like high risk stocks that are not making money yet stock crypto doesn't provide any return it just only provide the price appreciation so if i buy crypto at uh, $2000 and if the price increases to 2500 then only i'll make make a profit but since it's so volatile uh, I, there's a huge risk involved and let's say if you are uh, borrowing money to buy cryptocurrency and tomorrow if the crypto if, if the prices of cryptocurrency will fall down how you going to pay off the loan so there's a there's a huge uncertainty there's a huge risk involved so that is why lower the demand lower the price now in terms of gold so there is no specific theory nor relationship between the gold and the interest rate but i but what i see practically is that uh, the prices of gold decreases when there is a increase in interest rate now why it happens we understand that the gold is coated in dollar terms now let's say if i am based in india when 1 dollar is equal to 80 inr it is more expensive for me to convert to convert into dollar and then buy the gold so what is happening is because the dollar is expensive at the moment there is a less demand for commodity which is denominated in dollar terms like crude oil and gold so when the interest rate increases the prices of uh, commodities decreases okay so this was a quick video on relationship of interest and uh, financial asset if you have any question write down in comment and i will try to answer your query so thank you so much for watching the video and see you next time